name's Chris Ellis, and I'm the president of the Ellis Foundation. And I'll just kind of walk you through a brief journey about how we started the Ellis Foundation. Um, my sister Kathy was a English teacher in high school, and in 1997 she passed away from breast cancer. She taught in the Blue Valley School District in Kansas City, and uh, when she passed away, they had at the funeral they. Uh, uh, I don't, there was probably 25 kids individually got up and told how she, they, she had changed their lives and so it was, it was good. Consequently, my parents on their ride back home from Kansas City to Fort Scott decided that they should do something to keep that memory alive. Decided to do something in her memory and that's when we started the Ellis Foundation then. And that was, that was just the start. Then we found out that there was a lot more there than what we thought that needed to be done, and that we could do it. We could do it. So the next year in 1998, they started the Ellis Foundation, and they gave three scholarships here at the Fort Scott High School. That was the beginning of it, and that went on for a couple of years, and the information they were receiving back from the families and the recipients of the scholarships were so positive that they decided to go ahead and expand it into Rich Hill, Missouri, where they grew up and were high school sweethearts. We found out that uh, you can make a difference. And then well, how big a difference can you make? Well, to me, the world is the difference. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't do it in the world. But we found out how to do it in various places, and we did, uh, we did quite good with it. They approached me and asked if I would be interested in running the foundation with the potential of taking it to a whole other level. Chris is an entertainer, too. Uh, a good entertainer, and uh, that's part of being uh, able to go out into the public and do things. So you learn that through entertainment, you know, and it made him a very aggressive person in business in real life. So in 2002, I joined the foundation, and we immediately started soliciting outside of our family to other possible candidates to help fund scholarships. Betty Scott, and I, the wife of Tom Scott, and Tom Scott and um, uh, Mr. Ellis were great friends and in business together, and uh, we believed in the foundation that was actually started um, by Chris's dad uh, in honor of Kathy, the, the sister who passed away, unfortunately. And um, she was such a great educator, and it's a great thing that. Ellis Foundation gives opportunities to lots of young people to go to school. We now have over 150 partners that fund uh, scholarships in 19 states. We're now in over 100 high schools that are in those 19 states and give away somewhere between a million and a half to two million dollars a year in scholarships. So it's grown dramatically since those first three scholarships were given. My name is Tiffany Zerman. I'm an Ellis Scholar and I'm attending Pittsburgh State University and my major is nursing. Hi, I'm Ann Hutchison. I'm an Ellis Scholar attending Pittsburgh State University. I'm a biology major with a pre-med emphasis and I have minors in chemistry and physical science. My name is uh, Cody Knute. I graduated from Kansas State University in December 2012 and I am now working at an engineering firm in Kansas City. They've helped me in so many ways. Um, my dad has cancer, and they help me find um, support groups and uh, uh, Angels Among Us in Pittsburgh that helped out. The Ellis Foundation gave me the opportunity to travel abroad to do a medical mission trip in Romania, and it really inspired me to continue with the path that I'm on to become a medical doctor so that someday I can make a change in the lives of others, kind of the way that the Ellis Foundation has made a change in mine. It helped me not have to work. Um, if I would have had to have maintained a job while studying for engineering, it, it, would, have been, it would have been near impossible. This is tremendously helpful to those people who want an education, and we all know how important education is to survive in this world of technology and so forth. So we're very supportive of the entire program. As long as we see somebody that's got the ambition and the spark in their eye, we jump all over kids like that. That's just something that we're excited about, is helping people that want to help themselves. It means a lot 
knowing that I have the support of people that I don't necessarily know, but knowing that there are people out there who aren't as invested in my success as my family is, as I am, and that really means a lot. And just thank you for giving me the opportunity to do what I'm doing and for inspiring me to do the same for a future student, hopefully one day. There's a lot of places you can put money and you don't really know where it's going. Here, when you get a note, a note back, a nice letter saying, oh, we couldn't have done this had for you. We would have never gone to the school. Well, that's very meaningful to us. Now I have a job because of your financial support, so I couldn't thank you enough, and I am always willing to help in any way that I can.